Alright, what's up everybody? Sewer Badger here. With an interesting replay. La ladies and gentlemen, this is Trigger vs. Scarlet. From the playoffs of the ESL Masters NA Summer. And down here in the bottom right of Golden Aura, representing Basilisk, it is Trigger. And up here in the top right, Representing Shopify Rebellion, it is Scarlet, legendary Canadian matchup, I suppose. Because both, the, both of these people are uh, speaking. Both of these people are fantastic Canadian players, and they are in the. I believe this is the round of six. That's what they call it, round is when the six players left. Of course, the uh, probe going to be coming in here, going to be blocking off this. Forcing Scarlet to take her third, and this probe is just chilling. Making probe sounds, doing probe things, and hoping for a probe out outlook in life. On the other side of the map, it is going to be a one gate expand as this game proceeds into normalcy. In this position, I would normally favor... Um, if, if this were at any other time, or previously, I would normally favor Scarlet, but Trigger has been on a tear recently. And that tear, I don't know how it ends, but I know it doesn't end well for the opponent as you'll see something here. This probe is harassing, doing probe things with the probe outlook. The drone, not too happy about that, is gonna try to put an end to it as the cyber core comes down for a trigger on the other side of the map. Third, well, natural third, gonna be coming down. Hatch gas pool for Scarlet. A Nexus before core for Trigger. Second gas coming down. Second pylon. And we rock it right into the mid game. So I expect we're going to be seeing a couple queens. A couple. Uh, pair, two pairs of lings. Uh, it's one pair of ling. But um, overall, nothing cheeky yet. Scarlet uh, being the most likely to be cheeky in my mind because of her ability to just come out with these weird strats of course two links coming online right now it is a drone transfer on the other side of the map we are seeing a adept that is going to be chronoed out across the map of stargate opener for a trigger here is going to be is it going to be expected or scouted by um by our zerg player here so it looks like no spawning no spores have been done yet so uh yeah all shades and games second adept is going to be coming out here as the third adept follows up i expect we're going to be seeing a hero build out of trigger here as this oracle starts up on the other side of the map is a, a very empty gas pair of links here four links there and another pair of link another three pairs of links on the way as this uh, as this inject finishes up and thus far, no spores have been started. So the moment this oracle comes out, I expect it's going to be able to accomplish a lot of damage here as these or as these adepts are pushed back for the time being. And they're going to try to get that uh, creep tumor, and they are going to get that creep tumor, not without taking a bit of damage, though, as these queens very angrily and very sternly alert the Protoss that it is not allowed to take those creep tumors without a fight. Ling's going to be scouting over here for a third. However, the third is going to be taken over here as this Overlord scouts it. And these Ling's are going to be coming in for the damage. A good surround out of Scarlet here is Trigger. Very well take, takes down that one Ling that's going for the surround. And very beautiful outcome here for Trigger here. Trading out a bunch of... Trading a bunch of Ling's for one Adept is Scarlet. It's got to not be a fun outcome. However, Spores are finished in time for this Oracle to come in. And it is forced away. One drone kill. Three drone kills. And not a lot of... Um, not a lot of health left. And this Adept is going to be taken down. And another Adept. I expect this Adept will be going down as well. As this Adept shades into the wall. And is going to be helping out here in this defense. Does Scarlet disengage here? As this Oracle is turned... Laser Beam is turned on. It is going to push back these Lings. I say that's a really nice trade for Scarlet here as no more Oracles are being pumped out for the time being. Orobo 
a gateway and a twilight. I expect this is going to be a double robo, I believe, blink stalker push. Quadruple, uh, triple adept, quadruple adept actually. As the Sorokul comes along, scouts the fourth being taken, queens being in position, the Sorokul is not going to be able to get much done. On the other side of the map, it is more probes. A nice wall off for trigger. Another a immortal going to be finished up here as so the second immortal comes online. Twilight Council finishes up. Let's go ahead and see what comes on out of it. Oh, come on, man. Nothing for right now. Oh, charge. Charge immortal. I feel like against a very strong air presence, that'd be really, uh, that'd be a really uncomfortable build to play. But uh, seeing as Trigger has not scouted any spire yet, so this is gonna hit like a truck. I mean, we could play all, of, we could play all day about what ifs, but oh, that adept almost moving out of the wall there is almost gonna get, uh. I'm just going to get surrounded by lings as two probes are snatched. A bunch of lings get fall for it, but two probes. Not an insignificant amount of damage as this oracle stands there menacingly. This or other oracle on the other side of the map also standing menacingly is going to run into this queen and is going to take a lot of damage. Is going to get a revelation. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this revelation, but it does give him the confirmation that this is a fully saturated third. Ling's over here, a war prism over here with the double immortal drop. We're going to be seeing a move out here very soon. As these zealots finish up, adepts with them, they're gonna run into these links who are gonna find out exactly what's coming to Scarlet here. Five gates on the way, plus one attack, charge almost finished. We'll see how oh, Scarlet deals with it as a spire comes up. Let's go ahead and see where that is. Hmm. Charge a uh, mortal archon charge up push coming out of trigger. Meanwhile, it is just queens, lings, and roaches for our Zerg player here. And I don't know, man. Uh, you saw those lings. You don't see him in the fight. And he's going to commit here. He believes he can taste this fight. It's going to be a very difficult fight for Trigger to really cinch here. As these Queen's beautiful transfuses. Uh, drones are starting. Uh, Roaches are starting to fall. 25 uh, for saturation. And this third is going to be a small pea, small beans in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> as only ro one Roach is caught. It's going to be a mortal and a Archon. Of the pairing left. And it is just not a good fight for Trigger here as he is forced to pull back for the time being, lick his wounds. These lings are going to reposition over here and going to go for a run by as this warp prism is going to try to come up into the main. As, as soon as he gets on creep, Scarlet pops into action. And they're going to come down here, going to try to get a few, uh, going to get a few drones here as this Archon is distracted. And, oh, this is going to be pretty, yeah, that's a clutch pickup. If I've ever seen one as these links ran in, the zealots were right there to uh, push them away as this immortal and the adept joined them. It is going to be these links constantly on the run, however, the mutalisks have already arrived. Now, what is the future plan for both of these players? Plus two attack on the way for trigger and another immortal being queued up here. It, there's a storm on the way. However, that is only powered by this one pylon here. So these mutalisks have a timing. These mutalisks have a way to win here as... Where are they? Oh, they're dealing with this. Trigger sees... Oh, oh my god. What a save. Oh my god. As these mutalisks are going to be headed across the map, it is a phoenix on the way for Trigger. Unfortunately, it is going to be not enough here for Trigger to defend against these pesky mutalisks. And as the numbers start to stack up, these these storms are not going to be quite enough as the barrier gets popped. And I think you can just engage here as this phoenix gets popped. These warp stalkers are getting warped in. And it is just... A slaughter here. Eleven probes going down. A bunch of 
a few zerglings caught, but not really enough to stop the slaughter of all these zealots. And that is going to spell doom for our Protoss player. 110 supply to 191. Nearly max out. It's not going to be very fun for whoever is playing that particular position. However, it, it is, well, it is possible to come back. You'd have to be playing against a diamond player and... I know that this Zerg down here at the bottom left of Crimson Court is no diamond player. It is the best Zerg in North America. It is Scarlet, representing Shopify, Shopify, Shopify Rebellion. And up here in the top right, representing Basilisk, it is Trigger, with the red probes. You know, there's always something funny about, uh, about the word probe. It is always associated with aliens. So, um, specifically, aliens and human. Um, well, I need not go into more detail there, as my point is probably very clear here. It's going to be another low ground expand out of. or low ground wall off out of trigger as it per normal in the ZVP matchup. And it is going to be a pool first. This probe going to be coming on in. It is going for Mineral Harass. But this drone. This drone don't look like it's just going to scout around. No, 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 no. Trigger is going to spot the pool first. It's going to be almost finished. How is Trigger going to react here as he comes down to the low ground? He is going to look. Trigger? Trigger? No, this is not how it ends. Not with a bang, but with. Oh no. Hmm. This does not look good. Overlord gonna be coming across with the rest of this, gonna be moral support. As the wall off is incomplete out of trigger, despite. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He is chronoing out that zealot, but I don't think it's going to be finished in time. Or is it? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, Scarlet. Sixling's going to be on the way. To, that's first zealot is going to pop just in time, but he is not going to be in the wall quite yet. Oh, he's going to be in the wall right there. It's this um, odd duo is going to be right there to defend against it. And... Trigger is just now going to see exactly what is going on here. This probe, a safety inspector, and a very annoyed one at that. Oh my god, that is a lot of probes being pulled here. Four probes. Already, this is not looking good. At, uh, this is not a comfortable opener for Trigger. And as these roaches start to finish up, it is not going to be pretty. But what's going on behind this? This is pretty all in out of Scarlet. I don't think there's there's transitioning out of this. I think this is a do or die. If Trigger holds here, he's going to be in a very comfortable position, but if he doesn't end here, it's going to end with a GG. And it's not going to end with a Muta transition. Or a late game. I mean, if it does go late game, then I'll be convinced that Zerg is broken, because there's just... This is just such a heavy commit. I mean, unless a Scarlet starts saturating these minerals... Stalker's diving in and out, going to be providing a little bit of um, a little bit of damage early on, trying to put. Oh, I mean, I kind of like this on one hand, as as long as Trigger starts getting up more and more stalkers, he's eventually going to start scaling out of control, uh, with the amount of damage he can get. But so long as he starts keeps building those stalkers, I would feel a lot more comfortable in this position if he had a Robo on the way. As it stands, only one gas is saturated, so we don't—we're not going to be seeing any gases coming anytime soon. So I feel like this is just—this is just a very difficult hold for Trigger. If if he had a Robo, this would be probably a lot easier. Wait, are these armored? I don't think they're armored. However, this battery running out of juice, super battery running low, Stalker being lost already early on. The number of, of units that Scarlet has is outnumbering how much Trigger has. And as she's starting to bail down this wall, this is going to start to become a very, very tense game. It's already very tense. What am I talking about? It's with these queens diving in and out, 
Roach Ravager Biles and Ling's just piling in as this creep just spreads forward and it gets sniped. So, um... Yeah, this is just not a, uh... This is not a position I'd wish on anyone. Um... Trying to relax after a long day. This is Ravager starting to be blood off here as the cybernetics core the f it fully oh oh my god that was such so clutch the dodge on the bile it is going to be very good for trigger here as these ravagers the make or break is in fact there and the wall is open so with this wall being open that opens the avenue for lings to get in as trigger starts to try to target down a ravager but the transfuse is good. The Ravager stays alive, and these these stalkers are taking a lot of damage. And it seems like once this wall goes down, um, the rewall potential is right here, meaning that the entire this this fight does not have to stay out here, but it's much more comfortable if it does. These links going to be poking on in. No link speed here uh, for Scarlet as one queen finally goes down, and it is a surround here for Scarlet as she is going to be pun punching in here. Five stalkers left, one zealot, and a pylon being biled down, and it is being healed right now. But as the more and more, uh, more and more ravagers start uh, joining the field, I think I just think this is going to spiral too far out of control. Trigger's just lost too much here. And he can't, can he? Oh, he can still, he can still make stalkers. Or is he gonna get that? Nope. It still lives, and Transfuse is used on a Ravager. So another gateway goes down. Like a Constrictor Snake, Scarlet closes the position even more. Trigger loses another Stalker, and it's just snowballing here. The pylon goes down. Batteries are unpowered. Stalkers are in the breeze. You know the interesting thing is that before the um, before the battery nerf, is that um, n under any other circumstance, unless you had overwhelming numbers, the Zerg couldn't really punch into it. But with this shield battery nerf, yeah, it's um, very very it's much easier to punch into there. As Scarlet takes gain number two. Cheeky little cheese. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. We'll see if it continues. As Scarlet and Trigger do more. And up here in the top left of Amphion, it is Trigger representing Basilisk Gaming. Down here in the bottom right representing Shopify Rebellion, it is Scarlet. And with that cheeky little cheese in game number two, we'll see what she has planned for game number three. Is looks like she's going for macro here as she's setting up her hotkeys. Five camera locations. Interesting. Low ground mono for trigger. However, this is a very weird map. So there are technically two openings, but one of them is blocked by a mineral wall. Which means that mutalisks. Warp Prisms, Observers, and Phoenix. So let's Blink Stalkers can have a field day on this map. Uh, as already, we're seeing... You know what? Uh, which one is... Uh, oh, that's... Which one's Neil? That man's a legend. Anyways, we hop right back into this. We're seeing the gateway come down, the pool come down, the gas come down, and the hatchery. You know, interesting. Um, the more I think about this, the more this, the, the more this looks like uh, just a. Um, 
non-body version of Hugh, of uh, Kerrigan's backside. Let's see, we got the uh, um, I don't know. So it looks like Scarlet is going to be mining out these minerals. Probably, probably looking to take this base or set up a shop over here. This overlord seeing all. This seeing eye overlord. I wonder if that's what uh, blind zerglings have. Right now. Uh, blindness would be factored out because Abathur would be like, oh, no, 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 no. Blindness not allowed. It must at least have tremor sense. It looks like... Did Trigger scout? Yeah, he just poked in and left. Saw that it was, in fact, a... Uh, well, making sure this is, in fact, Trigger's view. Yeah, it is Trigger's view here. Hmm. What is Trigger doing? Currently no wall off as of yet. Second stalker on the way. Twilight Council up here in the main. Over here in the natural. is wide open for these lanes to waltz in. However, the micro potential of this stalker is going to really put a stop to that. And... You know what? Let me go ahead and turn this down real quick. Honest to God. All the music from the... Uh, from the... Wings of Liberty was fantastic. Third comes down for Scarlet. Ling's coming back across the map. What's going on up here in the main? Another uh, robo facility goes down. Over here in the natural. More probes. Hmm. Now, the chronoing on the Nexus would indicate that he is not, in fact, planning on being aggressive, but if you open uh, Twilight... That means the aggression is going to come soon, and that means you need a good economy behind this. And Trigger is definitely getting that fantastic economy, getting up to four gas, which means... More gateways, Blink, Robo Bay... Right now, parting uh, is gas orgasming, and he has no idea why. That being said, oh, the scout denial. Oh, oh what did the scout see? She only saw these two gateways. Now, let's see what's going on on the other side of the map. Four queens being stacked up here, more lings. Over here in the natural, more drones here, and a roach warren. This is... Uh, she did not get the read that she needed on this situation. This is about to turn very south, very, very fast. We'll see if she can make a clutch hold, though, honestly. I'm not so sure. Six gates already being finished up as these stalkers sitting over here. Going to blink across here in one second. Call me an oracle, but don't, please. All right, is this Ling... Can he actually sl scout in there? No, he can just... Munch away at that as these stalkers are kind of going to be coming in. It is a bunch of queens to defend here, and that is a dead observer. Hmm. I I gotta say, I, on one hand, this is a pretty decent position to defend with as Scarlet, but by the same token, this can very t turn south very fast because Blink, making it uh, making itself known here as. Trigger's fantastic micro is going to be coming in handy here to keep a lot of these stalkers alive. Um, I mean, it's the infinite maneuver, almost infinite maneuverability of these stalkers makes this position very comfortable to attack with. But as far as defense goes, he's going to be just trading very well and trading very well against what a race whose economy relies on injects and just having more um, more stuff on the way it's going to be very difficult as the first stalker here goes down to I believe not roach bile not ravager bile but zerglings trigger here doing a very good job of dodging all the biles these zerglings are going to be coming on in these queens providing all the damage that you could ever wish for so far micro very good on both sides 
and honestly it's relatively even on the other side of the map it is no follow-up for our Protoss player he is all in here if he doesn't get the damage he needs to get done done he's going to fall oh, massive blink forward and these queens are going to be coming down as all of this damage starts to pile up. But the blink is going to be good here as a lot of these stalkers get out with the damage they did. All of a sudden, this position is looking very different for from comfortable. Zealot's going to be walking in here. Let me at him. Let me at him. Unfortunately, he is, uh, is he, it, it, how long is he? Oh, he lives mostly through that engagement. He is going to take a lot of damage for these stalkers here from the queens that would normally be on that would normally be reserved for these stalkers. VIP access only as another zealot gets warped in. It is just infinite trading well. Scarlet knows if but at this point Scarlet knows that if she holds here she's just going to be in a very beautiful position. It's just going to be able to keep the Protoss on two bases at and while grabbing her third. This is just not the position you want to be in. If you, if this whole thing fails, it is going to be very bad, but I don't see it failing. Zerglings coming on in, poking in, soaking damage for these Ravagers whose Biles just keep zoning out these uh, Protoss army. The Lings keep going down, and a Forge goes down for Trigger. Hmm, I don't think it'll come into effect. The excellent concave out of uh, Scarlet, however, a blink forward from Trigger is going to just be... I suppose it just does nullify that. Another blink forward. This man's got balls of steel. Oh my god. And he blinks forward again! Oh my god, parting is... Uh, uh, the parting runs strong through this man's veins. As he takes the win... GG is called. Trigger, taking a game. Oh my god. There's just some people who can channel the inner parting a lot better than others, and Trigger's definitely, definitely doing that. Um, six gateways. Six gateway blink all in. A forge going up behind. I suspect that was for plus one, as he was probably floating a lot of gas there. I forgot to look. But that doesn't matter, because in, down here in the bottom left of Alcyone, it is Scarlet, representing Shopify Rebellion. Up here in the top right, representing Basilisk, it is Trigger, the Red Protoss Probes. Now, um, I'm a bit of a superstitious fella, and I'm of the belief that Red is the Protoss power color, as it is a no-scout coming out of Trigger here. Oh my god. This man's a legend. I want this man's out. Oh wait, I do have his autograph. Awesome. As he is going to be going for a gateway scout, it looks like he's not going to be aiming for a, a hatch block, but making sure more that that hatch goes down. Where is he? Oh, the hatch already has gone down. Oh, he's going to scout the third. He's going to scout the, he's going to scout the uh, gold. He's going to see that Scarlet has, in fact, taken that. What? 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 Oh, he saw it. He saw it. Okay. I was about to say, what? Probe, uh, probe vision range buff pulls? Because that definitely should have seen that. So, um... Now, this has been out of the loop for a while now, but, um, take a look here. That's no vision. So, uh, Zerg Cheesers, you are free to sex panther your way to GM. Because that is what this strip of unseen creep is for. If you, and if you can't make your opponents feel bad in a game of StarCraft, what are you playing StarCraft for? Maybe did not make your opponents feel bad, but as this gold is finishing up here, looks like Trigger is not changing anything to punish it. 
I expect that there's going to be some retrogression coming out of Scarlet here as up here in the main. What is going to be the tech of choice for our Protoss player? Hmm. Stargate. It comes down about a few seconds faster, I believe. And that is the benefit of a Gateway Scout is just a bit faster stuff, uh, just a bit faster stuff, faster tech. As these minerals start being mined, you don't go here if you're not planning on being aggressive. So I expect the excitement is going to be picking up very soon here. It's the first adept shids across the probe going back. You can just like on Dynasty, you can deny the mining, but unlike on uh, Dynasty, you can also deny the harass. As this adept is going to be coming in from the back instead of the front, and is going to get pushed back. Not a single drone kill yet, and oh my five shields left meanwhile it is going to be a third adept here the second adept already having finished up a while ago it is eight lings with six more on the way and maybe it's just not going to be able to uh, deny that creep tumor as trigger uh, hmm who do I like this position better for? Scarlet. So this is one of my least favorite things about Alcyone. This wall off. So the way I, I've been walling this off is gateway, cyber, gate, and the gateway goes on the edge with the space for the rest of it. I suspect this is absolutely freaking terrible because the adept right here, I believe doesn't cover right here. I mean, that one link can punch away at that without taking any damage as a cancel, as a cancel, I believe. Yeah, a cancel goes down on the uh, Nexus. Meaning that Trigger's third is going to be very delayed as the first Oracle comes across the map. It is going to be expected to deal a lot of damage. Thank you, Blizzard. Very sad. Anyway. Third coming down. Depths coming out to defend. Probe. Hiding behind the Adepts. Zergon is going to be coming in for another cancel here. As these adepts get almost surrounded, but the introduction of the probe here is going to introduce a little bit of chaos, but ultimately all three fall. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map. Oh my god. I remember um, watching a pig cast, and he, at one point he was talking about someone um, winning a fight by repeatedly ramming their face into someone's fist. That's what uh, Scott's defense against that oracle um, reminded me of, but by the same token, it's not that bad, actually. The worker counts are even, which is usually not a position the Zerg wants to be in. But there is a, a significant army advantage. Well, not anymore. Um, there was a significant army advantage for Scarlet. Scarlet comes in for the surround. And it is going to be Glaive Adepts coming out of trigger here. For already the first Oracle coming down as these shades uh, disperse these Zerglings politely. Bunch of Zerglings going to tell... Um, I'm going to tell our Zerg player that it is, in fact, Glaive's follow-up. See the things come back across the map after three drones getting picked off. It is only a six-worker lead. A third base going on, going down behind this means that, oh my god, that is such a dirty move. I love you, Trigger. Shades behind the Zerglings to prevent them from escaping. And that is just such an uncomfortable position for the uh, Zerg players. Oracle into Glaive's... Oh my god, I, I think I actually love this build. Okay, I'm sold. If this were Shark Tank, I'd label... Um, I'd lump Trigger in with people like Albert Einstein. <laughs> Meanwhile, the person who... Uh, the uh, the uh, innovator of this build is like, Hey man, what about me? <laughs> but honestly, anyone who's able to pull this build off against someone like Scarlet is an absolute genius because I mean uh, there was a um, what was it trying to trick the trickster as these oh my god 
the reverse... Uh, do we have a reverse sweep here? Because, ladies and gentlemen, oh, that's the current score. Two to one in favor of Scarlet. And it looks like 14, 15 drones going down. Trigger is looking to change that record. As he takes an 18th drone. Oh my god. You dirty, dirty boy. I love you. Oh my fucking god. These drones going to be forced to evacuate here as one drone on each gas is going to be picked off here. Roach is going to be coming into, um... Uh, Roach is going to be coming on in here to defend against these adepts, but on the other side of the map, Zergling is coming in for some counter damage. But I don't see how... I don't, I don't see it, man. <laughs> As much as I love watching Scarlet play, this is just such a horrific position to be playing back from as these two oracles are diving around. Because not only are you dealing with just being wildly behind, because Trigger's up 10 workers against a Zerg, which means that Trigger can effectively Zerg out Zerg a Zerg at this particular point in time as the bank of Scarlet is looking very dry, but the bank of Trigger is open for business. As this overlord is going to get into here, is going to provide information that there's in fact a lot of stalkers here. Two immortals being finished up here, and I don't see how how um I don't see how Scarlet comes back from this. Already the bio is coming down, not going to be able to connect with much. These stalkers coming in, blank finishing up. Plus one ground weapon is going to be putting a definite hurt into this opener. Even more bios coming down, but it's only going to catch one stalker, and I don't think one stalker is what you want to be catching. These four queens going to go on a trip off creep, and Sally and the um, Sally and the creep spreaders are going just going to try to go on a tour of uh, Trigger's base, but aren't going to be able to pull that off. Two more of two, or two more stalkers coming out to join the first few. More stalkers on the way. This is just such a beautiful position as Zerg. Scarlet's gonna try to do a run by to keep, yeah, gonna try to keep Trigger on his side of the map. But I don't think Trigger has that level of chill in this particular setup. As this Oracle is gonna be scouting around, seeing what's going on, the Zerg is gonna pop inside, and there's a battery. She's gonna try to target down the battery, but an adept here. An army here, and a victory for Trigger here is on the horizon. Because this most of this army is in fact uh, roaches and ravagers, which means that a lot of damage is going to be dealt to them by the anti-armor of both, of both of these units. This is just not a fun unit to try to, try to attack against. As the wall is open, Estrella, I mean, um, Trigger. It's going to be punching in here. Wait, no, not... Last I recall, Trigger was not a Zerg, neither was a Straya. Scarlet is going to be punching in here as these as this counterattack tries to pump in. And... Did it... Did that get a single dr Did that get... Hold on. After this, we're going to rewind. We're going to see if that caught a single probe. Blink forward... Oh, he's feeling it. He's feeling it here. His trigger. Waiting for another blink forward. Come on. Come on. Another blink forward. Blink, blink forward. Yes. Oh, my God. Blink forward. Oh. That feels good, man. The bank of trigger open, wide open for business. As he looks to put, in, put an end to game number four. We're going to be going to game number five, I suspect, after this. Well, saw five replays so well. Scarlet decides, you know what? I'm going to save my energy for game five. And we're back. After the little blizzard disconnect, we are back on Ghost River here. Up in the top right, representing Shopify Rebellion, it is Scarlet. And over here in the left, it is Trigger, representing Basilisk Gaming. Now, the interesting about this the thing about this map is that this is not a comfortable map to be uh, to try to be aggressive to be try to be aggressive on as Protoss. 
as Zerg, yeah, this is a beautiful map to be aggressive on because the distance from here to here is very claustrophobic for any Protoss. So Cybercore goes down here for trigger. On the other side of the map is a 15-15 out of Scarlet. Now, if I had to bet, I would say that Scarlet is going to go for Roaches, which is like betting, oh uh, well, she does like Curling Bane. And honest to God, I think Dark is the only person who has ever, who has beaten her with Ling Bane. Maybe Cyril and Rainer, but you know, top level Zerg struggle to beat Scarlet with when it comes to Ling Bane battles. Trigger here going to be dancing around. Oh, I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to deny that third base, but he's going to be pushed back by these Lings. The adept not going to be there in time. There's no adept. That's a stalker. That's another stalker. What's up here in the main? That's a twilight. That's a cheeky probe. And we've got a, an aggression coming out of Trigger here. Now he is going to leave an opening in the wall. Is it going to be committed? We'll see what comes out of here. Oracle, tell us what is going to happen. It is Blink! The Oracle has spoken. As this stalker is going to be putting damage down onto this hatchery. And they're just going to poke forward on creep. Going to attack one of these queens. What? Where is... Is there a third unit? Where's the... No, there's just two stalkers here. Robo. Two gateways. Is Scarlet going to scout it? Will this game be different from the previous game? I have no idea. Meanwhile, at the front, two Zerglings here. A third down here. Queen's over here. More drones on the way. A Roach Warren being started up here for Scarlet. And it is going to be warp in, warp in, warp in. Trigger has no chill. And to be frank, who would have chill? When you can... When you could just... Aggro, with two more gateways on the way. Turn this to six gate blink. You could totally jam two more gateways in there, I think. Yeah, you could totally jam two more gateways in there, can't you? Ah, uh, no, no, this warping comes in. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, also with the pylons, it would be difficult, but, you know. The, oh my god. They just walked in there and just like, eh. I see your queens, and I raise you a merry ignore. Press X to doubt. As this changeling comes in from the back, but it doesn't look like Trigger's gonna try to retreat here. No, it looks like he's. He's gonna be right there on the front. Hmm. As this cocoon comes down, it's gonna be very uncomfortable to try to morph Ravagers on the front, especially given the uh, increased morph time. These Ravagers are coming out. Hmm. I'm not sure. We saw this. We've seen this position with uh, Dark versus Parting in one of the ESL Open Cups, and every time it's worked out well for the Blink Stalker player. No Ling Speed this time for Scarlet. Wait, did she have Ling Speed last time? I don't think so. So the lack of Ling Speed means that. That's going to be a Zergling counterattack. 
So the stalker's trading well against. Well, that's a block on the zerglings. Stalker's going to be trading well against those ravagers as these stalkers blink out of the bio's last second. This is going to be a dead third. And honestly, these rocks are really. Sa I think they're saving. Um, no, they're not really saving anyone in particular. They're just more inconvenient for both players. You want a concave? Nope. Big Rock says no. As a gateway goes down, the Zerglin's going to get those taken. We get just take care of that conveniently, which means it's going to be five gate blank for trigger. And so it's going to go back to six gates. So Scarlet isn't out of the woods yet. There's a, still a lot of stalkers here to contend with. Fifth. 62 army supply for trigger. That means at least, I mean, I think there's, uh, so subtract two for the, um, warp prism. And that makes it about 30 stalkers. Well, 33 now, or 32. Versus a lower army supply of Zerg, which means that Scarlet has to trade very efficiently here. I think Scarlet's down and out in this final game of this best of five. Unless she lands beautiful Biles, I think this is um, I think this is the end of the series. Stalkers blinking in, beautiful. Oh, targets one of her own roaches, and the blink forward. Blink forward one. Let's get the blink forwards, ladies and gentlemen. This man is a giga chat. Blink forward two, and that secures the victory. Triggers securing the reverse sweep over Scarlet. Very much sealing himself as one of the triumvirate of the best players in North America. Straya, Trigger, and Scarlet. And with that having been done, Trigger takes himself to the finals, where he will await the winner, where he had awaited the winner. This is being cast after the fact of Estrella and Future, Scarlet and the winner of the, uh, the previous pair, and Trigger awaits the winner of Scarlet and whoever wins between... Um, uh, Australia and Future, I think. Maybe Australia and Kelazar. I don't recall. I'm trying to come up with a bracket in my mind, and it's very late at night. But, you know. Gotta try anyway. But with that having been said, I hope you all had a wonderful time. I certainly did. And with that having been said, you all beautiful people have a wonderful... Wonderful, I believe it is a week now. It's going to be Tuesdays. Hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope you all have a wonderful night. And please, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a subscribe. Because it's, um, I'm breaking statistics. 104.4% are not subscribed. <laughs> With that having been said, this has been a cast. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. Drink water, hug your loved ones. And I'll see you all next time with some Leviathan Crew mod. And that's probably going to be my focus for the uh, for the foreseeable future. Of course, I'll be doing some casts of the KSL and, of course, the DreamHack Masters. With that having been said, you, you all beautiful people have a wonderful, uh, wonderful week.